Number six from the 2022 Algebra 1 EOC. Which graph best represents a quadratic function with a range of all real numbers greater than or equal to three? So we're talking about range, which is just the Y values, or on a graph, we're gonna look up and down. So letter F, I noticed that my graph doesn't go any higher than negative three on the Y axis. So my range for that graph would just be all real numbers less than or equal to negative three. And obviously that is not um, what we're looking for. So I'm gonna mark this one out. Moving over to letter H, I see that my graph goes down to negative three on the Y axis but it never goes below that. Everything is above that. So my range is all real numbers greater than or equal to negative three, which again is not correct. Letter G, I notice that my graph goes up to three on the Y axis and it never goes above that. So my range is all real numbers less than or equal to positive three, which again is not correct. And then on letter J, I notice that my graph um, goes down to positive three on the Y axis but the graph is always above that number. So my range is all real numbers greater than or equal to positive three, which is what we're looking for. So our correct answer is letter J. Number seven from the 2022 Algebra One EOC. The value of Y is directly proportional to the value of X. When X is equal to 512, Y is equal to 128. What is the value of Y when X is equal to 64? So to solve this problem, I'm just gonna make a proportion and I'm gonna solve for the missing variable. So I'm gonna keep my Y value on top and my X value on bottom. So I'm gonna start with what they give us. So I'm gonna put 128 on top and 512 on bottom and set that equal to, they tell us that we're looking for Y, so I'm just gonna leave that as a variable and put 64 on the bottom. And now I can just cross multiply and divide. So 128 times 64 is equal to 8,192 and then divided by 512, that's equal to 16, which is letter C. Number eight from the 2022 Algebra One EOC. A customer is buying bath towels and hand towels and can spend no more than $100. Each bath towel costs $8 and each hand towel costs $5. The inequality 8X plus 5Y is less than or equal to 100 represents all possible combinations of X, the number of bath towels, and Y, the number of hand towels the customer can buy. Which graph best represents a solution set for the inequality? So they're already giving us an inequality that we can work with. 8X plus 5Y is less than or equal to 100. So in order to graph that, I'm gonna get Y by itself and then go through each answer choice. So I'm going to subtract 8X from both sides and that's gonna leave me with 5Y is less than or equal to negative 8X plus 100. Then I need to divide everything by five to get Y by itself and I'm gonna get Y is less than or equal to negative eight over five X plus 20. So all my answer choices have the same line. They're just different on the way they're shaded and if they're solid or a dotted line. So based on my inequality sign, less than or equal to, we should have a solid line and our graph should be shaded below the line. So letter F is not solid, so I'm gonna mark it out. And letter J is also not solid, so I'm gonna mark it out. So it's now between letter H and letter G. Letter H is shaded above the line, which is not correct. And letter G is shaded below the line, so my correct answer is letter G. Number nine from the 2022 Algebra One EOC. An exponential function is graphed on the grid. Which function is best represented by the graph? This particular exponential graph is called a decay function because it's decreasing as you go from left to right. So I know that my number in parentheses has to be less than one. So if I go through each answer choice, letter A has 0.25, which is less than one. Letter B has 0.5, which again is less than one. Letter C has 1.25, which is greater than one. So I'm gonna mark it out. And letter D has 25, which is obviously greater than one. So I'm gonna mark it out. Now, the way I'm gonna decide between letter A and B is I'm going to find a point on my graph. So the easiest one to find is zero comma one, the y-intercept. And I'm gonna plug in my x value to my answer choice and see if it gives me the correct y value. So starting with letter A, I'm gonna do 0 0.25 raised to the power of zero. And obviously anything raised to the power of zero is just equal to one, which is the correct y value. So I know that letter A is gonna be correct. Number 10 from the 2022 Algebra One EOC. Which expression is equivalent 
to n minus four times two n plus seven. So I'm going to use the FOIL method. And so I'm gonna start by multiplying n times two n, which is two n squared. Then I'm going to multiply n times seven, which is positive seven n. Then I'm gonna multiply negative four times two n, which is negative eight n. And then negative four times positive seven, which is negative 28. From here, I just need to combine my like terms. So 7n and negative 8n are going to make negative 1n or just negative n. So my answer is 2n squared minus n minus 28, and that's going to be letter J.